happy feet. Good morning, everybody. Look at this beautiful forest. Oh. Cruising along in my new shoes, happy feet today. Kind of got a big climb, sort of a big climb coming up here. I think there's some waterfalls or something up ahead. Good to see those. And loving the new shoes, happily hiking along and probably New York now. Kind of dances back and forth. Uh, New Jersey and New York and ways. And... Man, what a beautiful morning. So happy to be here. I wonder what lies ahead. Let's go find out. Yep, there's a blaze. Time to head up. <laughs> Still more and more stone walls. <laughs> Yeah, New York, keeping it challenging. Love it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Time is just slowly, slowly moving that rock apart, splitting it. Someday it'll probably, that end will probably fall right down there and a crumble. Man, that is cool. Some real beautiful woods here. These giant boulders are sitting on, looking. Real open so you can see far. Kind of hoping to see a bear or something. <laughs> That'd be nice anyway. Anyways, keep on hiking. Oh yeah, look at it. It goes up, up, up. Even a little arrow up there. Whoo, all right. Up and over that one. And here's the blade. It's a little more civil on this side of the hill. At least what I can see. So, there was a sign back there saying there's a trail magic. They had a road crossing ahead pretty soon. Curious to see if that is today or not. That would be good. There's a, sometimes people hang up signs and forget them. And uh, forget to take them down. So you get our hopes up and you run up there and whew, you're looking it's like not that day. But all right. This doesn't look so bad. Little switchbacks and stuff, I think. Nice. It is a warm one though, my. That was a beautiful bit of trail magic back there. Uh, thank you, Pacer and crew. I had some burgers cooking and some cold sodas. Mm. Sat there for a little while, enjoyed the company and uh, some of the other hikers and conversation. Real nice. It's about noon or something now. Walking along by this little pond. Trail goes off this way. And, uh, I'm gonna keep on going. A little extra chow in my belly. Mm -mm.
My, what a beautiful spot. Just had me a swim down an island pond here. Just more of a lake. But oh, so nice. And now, it's a little bit early for the day, but I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way up to Bear Mountain from here. That's still another 17 miles. And, uh, hmm. I might just uh, set up my tent here. Maybe go for another swim, actually. Hmm. Yeah, this might this might be the uh, might be the end of my hiking today. <laughs> Look down here some more. Look at this. Got a lakefront access, complete with a fire pit and a cave. Gotta love it. Well, that seals the deal, I think. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw my, throw my tent up here. Make some chow. Man, what a nice spot this. Island pond. Yeah. I'm gonna show you over the edge. I think I can see where I was swimming earlier. Right down there by that rock, there's actually some hikers sitting down there. A bunch of us are down there. Get in and swim, it's really nice. Mm, all right, home sweet home. Looks like a nice flat spot here, kind of soft. Might move a few rocks and Get myself comfortable. Well, there it is. Home, sweet home. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful one here at the Lemon Squeezer. There goes the trail. I guess it's not so much the squeeze, but the cliff face on the other side that causes troubles. But we'll see. Gotta put this phone away and climb through. See up there. That was a squeeze. I okay. ended up having to pull myself up, get my backpack up above it and climb up on top to get through. That was a good one. Now, we got, looks like just a regular old climb, so that's fun. Look at those little guys. Just tons and tons of these little fellas. All hopping around feasting on the skeeters back here. <laughs> All right. Man, that got pretty rough there. I had one, one particular climb. 
I thought I was goner, <laughs> but I made it up. That big old climb, the lemon squeezer. Woo that was a fun one. Couldn't do that one after dinner, that's for sure. All right. Hello, buddies. Let's hike on. This, this is the strangest bit of trail that I have ever been on. Come over 1,400 miles now and it's never been as weird as this. But I'm in like a museum and a zoo right now. So you can see behind me, you know that old fella there with the big gray beard? That's Walt Whitman up there. The guy that carved that statue, I think he carved into this rock here. I don't think he can see it, but it's the song of the open road. <laughs> yeah, this is a crazy place. I had to double check on my maps, make sure I was still on the trail. But the blazers led me in here. I hope the blazers lead me out. Let's see what other shenanigans we got here. Man, oh man. Just laying in his cage. Trapped like a fox, waiting to be nabbed. There's the old red fox. Hey, little fella. Oh. All right. Hmm. Kind of disturbing place. Bobcat, you gotta be kidding me. Oh man. Oh boy. I'm sad. The only bear willing to pose for a picture on this trail so far. <laughs> Is it a zoo? Oh, good grief. Hey, Blaze, get me out of here. <laughs> well, well, I got out of there. Now I'm on a big bridge heading across the Hudson. <laughs> that is a big river, though. And that mountain up ahead, yeah, you know it. I am think I'm headed up there. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo! Man, it sure is good to be back in the woods, even climbing up that mountain. That. There's a strange little place back there. Bear Mountain. Whew. All right. That's where I'm headed. Happily. Woo. <laughs> well, it was so hot and so sunny. All of a sudden it got dark didn't rain it didn't rain and then boom, it came down I think the temperature dropped 10 degrees or more maybe it was wonderful unfortunately there's some rocky 
rocky climbing around. <laughs> but man, what a boost. So nice. Anyways, that's where I was from. And these are the wet and rocky climb up there. I see a blaze. What a day. Oh, maybe another round coming down. Bring it on. It's always so nice the first day. It keeps raining, it kind of wears on you, but. Whew. So it's kind of cool. Back there, uh, before it rained, I ran into, uh, there was a bunch of kids from New York, from the city, and they, uh, they were giving out sodas and had some beer and chips and all this, and they were taking portraits. The one guy, Mario, I believe his name was, was taking portraits of hikers coming through. It was kind of fun. I took mine. Uh, excuse me. Hope I didn't break his camera. <laughs> but it was nice. Nice, uh, it was kind of just a funny, funny little magic there. I enjoyed it though, so thank you guys. Hope your pictures go well. Now the sun has returned. Yeah, I'm just kind of moseying along now. It's a little bit warm again, but my, perfect for hiking. <laughs> oh yeah. Stone wall still. <laughs> Kinda caught me by surprise this one. Gone a little bit without seeing. It's not that long, but <laughs> oh man. Well, I think I'm pretty close. There's a Appalachian store up here. And uh, I think it's like Highway 9 or something like that I got across, but I gotta get a couple of days of chow from there and push on up another mile or something like that. Not very far. There is a uh, Oh, like a spiritual center. It has like a ball field and they've been letting hikers camp there since the seventies sometime. I forget the name of it, Graymore or something like that. Some Jesuit organization or some such thing, I don't know. But I think that's where I'm gonna head for today. Call it a night. But my, that rain was refreshing there. Not long enough to suds up, but whew, it was nice. 